ignore collateral damage bomb ball forest and north to end banditry Aero 5. welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel there will be collateral damage but it is better to wipe them out and get people back to the community says mr Aero 5. see who is talking huh <laughs> they're not coming out to speak up all of a sudden <laughs> oh my goodness this, I'm going to translate this to a particular phrase. You know, when these people are caught, when I, when, when, when I mean these people, I mean the bandits are caught. They call them repentance bandits. To me, I'm saying, see, if you catch those people, or those people actually come your way and they start begging. If your enemy wants to kill you, and unfortunately for your enemy, you are lat, and you put him in a position where he, he has no choice but to surrender. Is that really, will you really clap your hand that you made him surrender? No. If you stand up and turn your back, there is every possibility that your enemy will plunge he, your own sword. <laughs> if you allow him, if your sword is the one available there, your enemy will plunge your own sword right into your body and kill you in that instant. What I'm saying is enemy are enemy. These people that kill their maimed, their raped, their committed sort of atrocities, actually, they do not care. They kill our mothers, they kill our, ch our children, they kill our sisters, they kill our brothers, they kill our fathers. They rape our sisters and our mothers alike. They take away children from their parents, making them to become child soldiers. And you come out and you say that these people are repentant just because you caught them? No. Please no. It is not supposed to be. You catch them, you seek them, you get the information you need to get from them, then send them for a meeting. You can prepare the meeting for them with your maker. Sincerely. Because these people, they don't feel remorse. They don't feel remorse whatsoever about whatever that they do. They don't. So why should you? Why should you? If you want to feel remorse, please think about the children who have been slaughtered by these people. Think about the two-year-old children, three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old. Think about the minors that have been raped and raped to death. Think about people who have undergone so many heartbreaking trauma at the hands of those people. Then when you picture it in your mind, then you now think about letting... Uh, um, you now think about... Um, you now think about... Uh, 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 um, letting them go or keeping them and tagging them surrender the bandit. I mean, it's not supposed to be at all. Okay, stay with us while we'll read the last of the news. Kaduna Governor Nasser Arafai has proposed for a blanket bombing of first in the north to flush out bandits, saying collateral damage was expected to end in banditry. I've always believed that you know we should carpet. We should carpet bomb the forest. We can replant the trees after. Mr. Erufai said in an interview with Arise TV on Monday. Let's carpet bomb the forest and bomb all of them. There will be collateral damage, but it is better to wipe them out and then get people back to our communities so that agriculture and rural areas can pick up. Collateral damage refers to civilian casualties and military operations. Suggesting that Mr. Erufai was asking the military to expect the loss of innocent Nigerian lives in flushing out bandits from foreign forests. Mr. Erufai once threatened foreign observers during Nigeria's 2019 general elections that they would return to the countries in body bags if they meddled in the process. Further speaking during the interview, Mr. Erufai said Nigerian security agencies have been overstretched due to various security challenges in the country. These bandits operate in the periphery because they are hiding place in the forest. It is a major problem. The security agencies are doing their best, but they are overstretched, the governor said. Their reality is that we don't have enough boots on the ground to address the myriad of, the myriad of security challenges that we face, and these ch security challenges are symmetric. Widespread, and there is no part of Nigeria that does not have one security problem or another, he added. But before now, Mr. Erufai claimed that he had written to the President Muhammad Buhari requesting that bandits be declared terrorists so Nigerian military can deal with them without recourse to human rights. 
In November 2021, the Abuja Division of the Federal High Court declared them terrorists. Hmm. Okay. Um, this particular news. How does this sound? How does this sound? How does this sound? Asking people to die. But if you look at it all, like I said, to become the governor, you have to go against people. You have to go against a lot of things. That is just it. That is it. Every father cannot leave his son in a public school for fear of collateral damage. According to him, then, it's now saying, bomb off first and ignore collateral drug because his own is not involved. The greatest political con man in Nigeria. When he was fanning the ember of violence by openly supporting the Fulani headsmen invading part of the Middle Belt and the Northeast, he has forgotten that it will graduate to this stage. Karma is coming for you harder. At the end of the day, he's not even involved. He's not the one affected. It is the, it is the innocent people of Kaduna that are involved. Arafai can't do this. Someone who demolished people's means of livelihood with recklessness. Hmm. Okay. When Jonathan failed to end Boko Haram, you people campaigned against his re-election. Now, Bari is failing to end banditry. Boko Haram, East Wap, ETC, you people are selling the military to bomb forests with their kidnapped victims. <laughs> okay. This is blatant, but it helped me. But let me help Comrade Orofai out. You should first declare the forest a danger zone to the inhabitants, to the inhabitants of the forest and ask them to evacuate the forest as an automaton. And after that, the evacuation is done within a given time. Then, at least, expect a time. The military can commence a fumigation exercise to clean up the forest. After the fumigation, the people can return to their natural abode. Hmm. Okay. Peasant farmers that are living, living in the rural that are living the rural life peacefully in the villagers can go for it for all he cares. And later he will still go to a nearby mosque to pray like any other Muslims. Sincerely. This his idea is is, is wrong. You can't kill a person just because you are chasing another. No, it doesn't make sense at all. It does not. Election is coming and another political statement to scorch a point. Use the security vote at your custodians for security. Create jobs. Unemployed. Employ more youth. Create more schools. Give equal education opportunities to children. And embark on human capital development to empower more people. Above, above all, encourage mass education at all levels. Okay. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.